Hello, this is the My Passport SSD from WD. Now, this one's a huge deal because, well, it's really tiny. Now, take a look at the previous model here. This is the old My Passport. This is a new My Passport SSD. Let me put it this way. This is me, and this is how most Asians are wrongfully perceived. And by the way, the drive is very light. In fact, it seems lighter than the included cable right here. Yet, it's rugged. You can throw it around without damaging it. Not that it should do that though. Now, W managed to string the drive so significantly because this is the first one that houses a solid state drive on the inside. And that means it's also the fastest My Passport to date. In testing, it has a sustained copy speed of some 300 megabytes per second. That's really fast. Now, the drive supports the USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 with a Type-C port right here. And that means it works with all the new computers with USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 ports. You can also use it with existing computer with a regular USB-A port though, with this adapter right here, which is also included. Now, the My Passport SSD is pre-formatted in expat file system, and that means it could work with both macOS and Windows right out of the box without reformatting. Now, the drive feature encryption to protect data against loss and theft. Remember though, if you turn on that feature and you forget the password, you lose the data too. You know, this is the action drive for those who need something fast, rugged, yet tiny. But it's not cheap though. Unfortunately, this one terabyte drive here currently goes for some $360. And there are two things I don't like about it. First, it cap at just one terabyte. And secondly, it's a fingerprint magnet. Touch it and you immediately add that to the long list of reasons why we can't have nice things. But we do have a nice video about that though. And that's because I'm Dom Ngo, and this is the My Passport SSD from WD.